some adverse drug effects occur when the P450 enzymatic system is being manipulated. The P450 system is a large set of enzymes that are mainly found in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum of hepatocytes. The P450 enzymes themselves are involved in a series of reactions. They are responsible for chemically modifying exogenous substrates such as drugs, pharmacologic agents, to make them, for example, excretable in the urine. Some P450 reactions actually change the drug so that it no longer has an effect in the body. And yet other P450 reactions are involved in the synthesis of important compounds, for example, the heme in hemoglobin. Thus you can see that any drug which actually manipulates or changes the P450 system can have widespread effects. Some drugs actually induce or rev up the P450 enzymes. They can either make the enzymes more active or simply induce the synthesis of more P450 enzymes. Other drugs are known to inhibit or depress the enzymatic activity of the P450 system. When this happens, you can imagine that the metabolism and clearance of some drugs can be seriously slowed. So for example, if a patient is taking a variety of medications, and then all of a sudden they add a new medication, which is known to be a P450 inhibitor, the degradation or excretion of the other drugs will not happen as quickly, and they can begin to accumulate in the body and cause toxicity. Some of the most common P450 inhibitors are HIV protease inhibitors, ketoconazole, erythromycin, grapefruit juice, acute alcohol use, that is ethanol, sulfonamides, isoniazid, and cimetidine. You can remember these drugs with the mnemonic here. Inducers, on the other hand, rev up the P450 system. Thus, if a P450 inducer is added to a patient's regimen, the other medications that they're taking may be metabolized much more quickly and result in concentrations of those drugs which are subtherapeutic. Thus, many times when physicians begin administering a drug which is known to be a P450 inducer, they'll have to adjust and increase the other medications on the patient's list. Some well-known inducers are quinidine, barbiturates, St. John's wort, phenetoin, rifampin, griseofulvin, carbamazepine, and chronic or long-term alcohol use.